So last night, I was thinking about how I really just want to draw 100 eyes on a sketchbook spread. And I couldn't sleep because I kept thinking about it. I actually had another video planned for this week, but the eye thing just sounds really fun. And I feel like practicing drawing eyes. This is intended to be for fun. I'm just kind of rolling with what has inspired me, but I think this might be challenging now that I'm thinking of it. Whatever, this is what I'm doing. Because we're drawing 100 eyes, I think we should make it fun. So I'm gonna start off by using my favorite colored pencils, and then we'll probably jump around and use a bunch of different supplies. So the fun part about drawing these 100 eyes, we are going to fit all 100 eyes on this spread here. We have this page and this page, that is it. So can I do this? Can I fit 100 eyes on that page? I don't know, but we're gonna be taking notes and keeping track, so if we have 100 tallies at the end of this, then we did it. And speaking of taking notes, these are the new notepads that I released in my shop. The background of the notepad is one of my flower paintings. So if you want one, you can get them at mirabyler.com. Let's get on to the video. Okay, the full page spread is here. So excited for this. Let's open this a little more. All my colored pencils are surrounding me, so let's go. If anything, I think this will be really great practice for me with drawing eyes. I have not been drawing many people lately. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight. Forgo. Give up everything that. We just finished the first eye, and now it's time to do 99 more. So before we dive really deep into all of these eyes, I guess I want to tell you exactly why I am doing this. So I think this exercise is really great for somebody who perhaps has art block and they don't know what to draw. In fact, I highly recommend it if you are struggling with that. Me, I am actually not struggling with art block right now, but I'm just trying to wind down from bigger projects. Like I just did two giant paintings and then I turned around and I did a painting series. And while I really enjoyed it, sometimes I just have to recharge in my sketchbook. Now, another reason why I wanted to do this is because I've kind of been reflecting on the past couple months of my art journey, and I haven't exactly been drawing people. And I kind of backed away from drawing people a couple years ago because when I was drawing people a lot, I felt like I was doing it to please everybody else and not myself. And I love drawing people, but the reason for doing art isn't to make everybody else happy. So I kind of changed up my route and pursued things that brought me more joy. Now that doesn't mean I don't enjoy drawing people though. And I have times like this when I actually miss it. So because I was missing it, specifically eyes, that's when I kind of got that weird idea, you know, what if I drew 100 of them and just quenched that thirst? So I decided to do that. 
And a couple eyes in, I realized, you know, I want to draw animal eyes too. So I'm drawing this cat eye here. You'll see a couple other animal eyes throughout this and it was a fun time. Now, another reason why I wanted to do this is because you guys know me. I am a style hopper. Like one week I will do something realistic. The next week I'll do folk art. The next week I'll do like realistic water and then jump over to impressionism. <laughs> That's just who I am. And I have learned to embrace that as an artist. I just hop all over the place I don't really think I have like a certain aesthetic and I'm okay with that. So I decided, you know what, with all 100 of these eyes, let's just showcase them in tons of different styles. This gives me the opportunity to explore, you know, different mediums, different types of eyes, uh, different angles of eyes. And I can do that in any style I want. There were some parts of this that I goofed off and did these tiny eyes and it was so fun. And then I decided I also want to add a lot of color to this. So some eyes you're gonna notice have like splotches of marker behind them. And I kind of felt like it gave it a fun street art vibe or like pop art vibe. You can kind of interpret it for yourself, but You'll maybe see why I say that near the end of the video. Now, my favorite part about this too is like, I could do some eyes as realistic as I wanted and then other eyes, I literally spent like 30 seconds drawing and I feel like with both ends of that spectrum, I still learned something like the eyes that took seconds to draw helped me to loosen up and not be so tight and make it more of like a gestural thing. And then the eyes that I spent so long on, I learned things like how eyeshadow works and just refreshing some old knowledge of eyelashes and all sorts of stuff that I kind of tucked away. Here's some more of those tiny little eyes. I'm telling you what, these tiny eyes to fill up space. <laughs> those were some of my favorite parts of this entire thing because it just, it wasn't serious. It was playful. And I felt like I could just do what I wanted with those. Part of me really wanted to tuck a letter I in here just to like troll you guys, but I kind of forgot because I was so into what I was doing. You can see for a lot of this, I'm just using an old ballpoint pen. And I feel like those were some of the most enjoyable eyes that I created because I didn't have to focus on switching colors and they were bold and moody and they popped out on the page. And something about just using a pen, you know, something I would take notes with in college uh, for a sketchbook page. It just always makes me so happy. I always carry pens in my art pencil pouch thing. <laughs> now, something that I underestimated with this was how long it would take to draw 100 eyes. Even though I goofed off and I did a couple of those tiny little eyes that didn't take a lot of time. Uh, the other ones took a long, long time. <laughs> I 
Like that closed eye with the eyeshadow probably took me 30 or 40 minutes alone. So that alone can tell you how much time went into this video. We are like halfway through this eye drawing process at this point. I'll show you where we're at so far. We've got all these and my favorite one is definitely this one so far, but it's probably tied with this purple one just because it just seems so like moody and edgy in this like purple monochromatic triangle, kind of edgy, you know? And then this eye here I just did last night. So that's cool. I think this is probably the type of thing that somebody who's experiencing art block would really enjoy because if you just pick like one thing that you love drawing and you just draw it over and over again on a piece of paper or a full sketchbook spread, there's no thinking involved. There's just doing. You just do the same thing over and over again. It's the thing that you enjoy. You're picking the thing that you enjoy. It's a good thing to do after I wind down from a lot of large paintings or I'm just thinking about what I want to paint next. These small little projects like this are very rewarding, but I do have to say this is not a small project. This is very time consuming because choosing to draw 100 eyes, what was I thinking, 100? But it has been a good learning experience. I do feel like I'm getting my practice in with different skin tones, um, animal eyes, human eyes, fun little abstract things. I feel like I don't have a lot of experience drawing eyeshadow. Cause for real, I don't even really wear eyeshadow. Maybe like once a year. So it's cool to study it. So once I hit the halfway mark and I started making my way through the final stretch, right here, it just kind of felt like, did I get myself into something that I'm not going to finish? And I'm, I'm typically not somebody who abandons what I do, but man, I just had to think about it, look at this for a while, take a couple breaks and decide if I wanted to push forward. So I did. And it, guys, I'm not going to lie. This was the stage that was awkward. I had to really push through. It was a little discouraging, but I feel like... This is always the stage that is most worth it. I feel like if you have that stage and you push through it, there's just a special kind of joy that comes out on the other end of finishing your piece. So I was really into doing all these triangles and kind of doing these like monochromatic eyes in them. I did a heart too earlier. You'll see a couple of these throughout this process. So I have a question for you guys, and this can be the comment of the day. Which eye on this page is your favorite on this whole spread, I guess? It might be kind of hard to identify it since there's 100, but I don't know. It sounds like a fun game to play. Try to describe your favorite eye. <laughs> When I got to this point, I realized I really liked having splashes of yellow on my page. And that's when I got this idea to do a bunch of those tiny, fun, playful little eyes along the edge of the page and just make it yellow. 
So it kind of just feels like this strip of sunshine is uh, here, lingering on the edge. It took so much willpower for me to include eyes without eyebrows, but I wanted to do a variety of both. So you'll see a couple eyes I did not give eyebrows. And believe me when I say it took so much willpower to do that. <laughs> So a fun fact about the beginning of my art journey, back when I was in middle school, junior high and high school, I really became interested in sketchbooks and kind of keeping a visual diary, if you will. So my go-to thing back then was always to draw eyes and once this kid looked through my sketchbook and he was like really, really good at art, he was a couple grades above me and I was really nervous at the time. And he's like, I know what you're doing. I was like, what do you mean? And he said, you only draw one eye because you're afraid to draw the other. And he gave my sketchbook back and ooh, I felt so attacked at the time because that was so true. And so after that, I spent a lot of time trying to draw both eyes and focus on the whole portrait. It was a good learning experience just to be like called out on that and to confront my fears. And I feel like even now with my art, it's always rewarding to confront my fears. All right, we're getting there guys. We have a couple more eyes left. And I felt like at this point, this entire page just started making me so happy because there were so many colors just radiating off of this tiny area. I mean, this is like eight by 16 inches if you count the full spread. And uh, wow, it's amazing that 100 eyes could fit on such a small area. <laughs> I guess if I ever want to one-up myself in the future, I could try to fit a hundred eyes on just one of the pages. But the purpose for this was not like trying to squeeze them all in and I don't know, whatever. I just really wanted to draw a hundred eyes. It sounded fun. So if you have any crazy ideas, any wild ideas and you're like, wow, that sounds ridiculous guess what that's what i thought with this too but i did it anyway so do your ridiculous stuff and uh, create those wild things that live inside your mind who knows what might come of it maybe you'll be happy you did it and i hope you are We have a hundred eyes. Yes. Dude, we finished it. It's done. I'm so happy with how it came out. Honestly, I kind of doubted myself a little bit once I got to around 75 eyes. I was like, man, 25 left? Like, how am I gonna do this? And I think during that final push, I felt like I got so much out of it, you know? Like, it really clicked that this is a learning experience. And I was able to create tons of styles of eyes and 
Miraculously, they all fit on here. <laughs> I think if I hadn't done that little like circle of 17 little eyes, it may have been more difficult, but I'm very fond of that little circle of eyes. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, this is something that I just, I wanted to do to take a break from bigger paintings and more in-depth projects. And little did I know that this would become a big in-depth thing. I mean, I think I spent like three days doing this. I highly encourage you to try this with, you know, eyes, lips, flowers, dogs, whatever you want. Um, and if you do this, feel free to tag me on Instagram at Mira Byler and uh, share your artwork with me. I love looking at your art. I know you guys say that I inspire you, but you guys inspire me just as much when you share your artwork with me or just commenting down below the things that you're working on. It's, it's really an honor to get that glimpse into your lives too. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week. We'll have some fun stuff going on and yeah, have a good day. Bye.